What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to turn on automatic updates for your games in Steam and also show you how to do high priority updates for certain games. So for example, you can set one of the games to high priority and then have it update before the other ones do if multiple games have updates. Anyways, so you're going to want to navigate to your game library first. So make sure you have Steam open, then go to the top up here on library and click on collections. Actually click on home and you'll be brought to the screen here. All you'll need to see is this games tab on the left hand side. Um, so that's what's important. Once you can see that, you can just right click on the game of your choice <clears throat> that you want to turn on automatic updates for and then do properties, go updates. And normally this will be on like this game and its updates will be automatically acquired as soon as they're available. But you can also turn this off. So like only update this game when I launch it. Um, that means it won't, it'll only update when you try to launch it. When you have Steam open in general, it'll try and update it in the background with this setting. This one will only do it when you launch the game, it gives you more control. And then this setting is high priority. So this puts it above the other games. Um, for example, like if you want CSGO to be the latest version, no matter what, versus any other, any other of the games you play, you pick this guy, you select this and yeah, pretty much. So now you also have the option for background downloads. Um, and then basically these options, um, you're going to want to select this differently for each game. So pause background downloads while I'm playing CSGO. This is because this is a competitive matchmaking game and lag can really affect like how the game plays out. So I would recommend pausing any background downloads while you're playing CSGO because it's heavy intensive on your internet connection, right? So just you want the best possible experience. Downloading things can actually really slow down your internet connection. So I wouldn't recommend um, keeping these on always allow background downloads. You can always do never allow background downloads as well, but it's better to just pause them and then continue them after you're done. So I'm going to leave that the same, close this and like, for example, like a game like Dark Souls, cause this one's offline. If I right click this, do properties, updates, um, we can allow background downloads while I'm playing Dark Souls. It's mostly like a single player game, you know, so it doesn't really matter. It can keep downloading. If it lags, you know, I'm not really playing it with friends that much, but like if it's a game that's online more, you're gonna wanna turn this to pause. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Um, this, as you can see, I just bought this game recently and its default option is always keep this game updated. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna download it in the background. Um, as soon as it can, as soon as Steam knows there's a new version of it available. And that's it guys, that's how you turn it on, that's how you manage it. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.